Today on Shelby Headline Magazine, we travel to Jerusalem, Bicentennial America, Gettysburg, and even the war-torn skies of Germany. Internationally known master of the canvas, Robert W. Wilson is a World War II veteran and a retired commercial artist with no formal art training. Yet when one looks at his body of work, there's no denying it. This man has talent. I guess I was always interested in art, but uh, pictures were something that the upper middle class had in those days. And I don't recall that we even had a picture in the house. And uh, what I did came naturally. I just did some uh, sketching and stuff like that. During World War II, Wilson visited his first art museum and was immediately taken by the works of the old masters. And in time, he began to study their styles and their techniques. And in 1970, Wilson began his first series of paintings. It was something that uh, I wanted to do, and I've always been intrigued by the, the large paintings that the church uh, used to uh, uh, commission, you know, over in the Europe. And uh, I always wanted to paint pictures like that. While reading the Jim Bishop book, The Day Christ Died, Wilson was inspired by mental images to develop the Agony of Christ series. And it was through this particular study that Wilson taught himself to paint. When I was uh, painting the, the raising of the cross, uh, in the first place, I made myself sick because, you know, painting all the blood. At the same time, uh, I actually built a cross and put it up here at the end of the studio. When I paint that, I kind of feel the thing. Through this project, Wilson created his own costumes and used himself as the model. And I posed myself. I had a, a Polaroid camera with a timer on it, and I'd dress up in whatever costume I needed and assume the pose I needed and press the timer and take it that way. This labor of love was two years in the making, and when complete, Wilson had 11 paintings measuring six and a half feet by five feet in size. And in 1978, the series was exhibited at the National Prayer Breakfast in Washington, D.C., hosted by President and Mrs. Jimmy Carter. I've never tried to really make a, a real living out of my, uh, my paintings or or even sell them, you know, or market the things. Uh, all, I just, all I want to do is just paint the thing. For the next few years, Wilson demonstrated his ability in a wide range of different media, from watercolor to oils, and he focused on everything from portraiture to landscape to history. In fact, through the process of printed reproductions, many of his Civil War paintings have gained Wilson worldwide fame, and two of his originals are on permanent display in the South Carolina State House in Columbia. The process itself is a lot of work. And uh, from the concept, uh, the idea, uh, to uh, posing the models and getting costumes together and all that kind of stuff, it's all work. And putting the thing on canvas is all work, and painting the thing is all work. As Wilson continued to experiment with different techniques and styles, his paintings depicting the agony of Christ set collecting dust for years in a studio. Eventually, they were put on display at a Charleston, South Carolina church, and in 1986, Cleveland County filmmaker Earl Owensby heard about and purchased the 11 paintings. I tried working in other people's technique, like uh, Rubens and Rembrandt and, and those, and somehow they all come out looking like Wilson's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks to investors Earl Owensby, Troy Day, and Al Thigpen, the Agony of Christ series will soon become a traveling exhibit, the subject of a coffee table book, limited edition prints, and the focus of a video documentary. And as for Robert W. Wilson, well, he's been commissioned by these same investors to complete a new series of painting portraying the life of Christ. And it's been announced that a significant portion of the proceeds from these projects will benefit the Gardner Webb University School of Divinity. For more information on Robert W. Wilson, he can be contacted through his Woodruff, South Carolina studio by calling 864-969-2118. For Shelby Headline Magazine, I'm Noel T. Manning II.